this is Chris. Today we're going to take a look at how to use Netlify's snippets. So uh, I found when I was working on a uh, Gatsby project that uh, despite the fact that they're awesome with all of their plugins and uh, just the, the huge community uh, of resources that they've got, uh, one thing that I ran into was, um, especially when I got uh, tasks from like a marketing department where they're like, hey, here's this uh, script that I got, this you know Google Analytics or HubSpot or whatever. And so trying to figure out like, all right, where exactly do I implement this? What sort of plugin do I need? Um, and so sometimes it can can be a little bit tricky, uh, especially if you're working in like, you know, Gatsby or Next or React or something like that. And so if you have a front end site that's deployed on Netlify, they make it a lot easier to use some of these scripts uh, by uh, implementing their snippets. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to show you uh, how to you, if you want to learn how to set up Google Analytics, this is perfect. But um, the, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use snippets. And so uh, if you learn how to use uh, the analytics code, then you'll be able to, to apply this knowledge with uh, any sort of similar scripts that you might come across. So just real quick, I'm in my Google Analytics here. I'm going to go to the bottom left and click on admin. And then I'm going to just create a new account. So you might not be creating a new account. You might be getting this code from somebody else. That's fine, but just in case you're curious. So I'm going to call this uh, uh, map or country throne, I think it was called. And hit next. We'll do web. Uh, we'll call it throne. And uh, the website URL, I'm going to copy this. And get rid of that uh, this doesn't matter I'll just do arts and entertainment because this is just a random site and then I'll hit create I'll accept these against my will and there we go so this is the code that we're that we're looking at here and again you might get this from any number of different uh, marketing websites or, or things like that um, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to head over to Netlify and I'm going to go to deploys, deploy settings, and then post processing. And then here, uh, there's a lot of cool features actually, but we're looking at snippet injection. So I'm going to click on add snippet and then I'm going to put this before the end of the head because that's where I want it to load. You've got your choice between at the end of the body, which is like after all of your HTML and stuff. And then before the end of the head, which is before all of that. So we're going to do that. We'll call this G tag. And we'll paste it in. And hit save. And now, notice I haven't even deployed any. I mean, this is already deployed, but I haven't like triggered a deploy or built or any of that kind of stuff. If I just go to this uh, website and I hit inspect and I go to my head. There we can see before the end of the head, there is my uh, Google Analytics global site tag. So super easy, super quick to set up, super helpful. Once again, Netlify coming in in the clutch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. And until next time, have a good one.